Hey everybody, have you ever had a problem and you're trying to find a solution or a way to do something in Capture One or Photoshop or something like that and you go looking online for the answer and you can't find it and then finally you find some YouTube channel with a person who's got like 25 followers and hardly any videos and, and they've got this one little video that's about two or three minutes long and the audio is wrong and bad and the lighting is bad but in that video they explain how to do exactly what it is you're trying to figure out what to do. How to do well you know what I'm saying right so that's what this video is sometimes you just come across something and you're like oh my gosh I wish I had known how to do this before because this is a great little hack and so that's what this video is I don't think there are a lot of people who are actually going to need this hack but those of you who do are going to greatly appreciate this hack listen before we get started don't forget to check out my website the link is down in the description and also the first comment the posted comment on this video will be a link to my website and there you can see all of the stuff that I offer you can see my classes my tutorials my one-on-one -on -one coaching and you can also see the links that go to all of my gear and all of the things that I use both professionally and as an amateur hobbyist you might say so, you know when I'm going around on vacation and stuff like that all my gear is there and if you click on one of those links and you go to amazon.com and you buy something I get a couple of dollars and it helps me to keep this channel alive and I really do appreciate it all right so here's the hack I use a uh, pixie set and pixie set is an online hosting they host your images online with galleries so you can sell your images and stuff like that and I do a lot of headshots and so many many times I will go on location and I'll do a headshot and then I will post everything online so that the people can pick the headshot that they like before I do the full retouch and I deliver it now the problem is when you post images online a lot of times to these online galleries the name of the image is not necessarily always prominently displayed now I know that with pixie set the way it works is that if you're looking at the thumbnails you can't see the uh, name of the image at all I don't think and and so what you have to do is click on an image and bring it up full size and even then the name of the image is small at the bottom of the screen and you might miss it you might not see it and I actually think that if you're looking at it on a phone you might not be able to see it at all so this means that every time I send a gallery to somebody I have to be like okay here make sure that you click the thumbnail so the picture comes up big and then go down to the bottom and that's where you can see and then send me that number tell me the number of the image that you want or save it in a favorites file but you need to register to save it in a fed you know and you there's all these things you have to explain to your client and I want to make it as easy as possible I want them to just look at the images and go that one and then be done so here's a hack and I know this is a long video for a short hack <laughs> welcome to my channel first time here uh, so here's a hack so that you can put the name of the image on every single image really really big and then they can easily see the number and send it to you all right here we go so here is my session so we'll click this right here so here is my session I did a headshot session right here's all the images from the headshot session session and I need to let her pick an image I'm going to post these online so what you do is you select all of the images and then you go to export now before I do this this is important before I do this I rename all of the images so I renamed them all just with a three digit number 001 002 003 and if you don't know how to do that that's another video I have to make but you can just you can select them all and then you can go right click batch rename and then right here just select three digit counter as your format and then it will rename all of your images for you it's not it's not a hard thing to do at all it's really easy so once you've got them all renamed in numerical order then you hit export you pick the recipe that you want to use in this case I'm going to export them as uh, images that are 2048 on the long side and then you scroll down to watermark down here see watermark and you select text so now we're going to put a text watermark and usually it's opacity is like there so now you go here to the text box and you click the little three dots and this brings up all of your naming format and then you scroll down to image name and you double click it and now you see it says format image name and then right here sample 001 because 001 is the image that I am looking at and you hit OK and there's 001 
It might show up in a different spot. You can move it. You just come back over here to watermark and you click this little hand, make it orange, and then you can move it around, put it wherever you want. Like I want it in the corner. I wanted the opacity at 100% so it's bright. I can make it bigger or smaller, whatever I want to do, right? We're good to go. And now, when I export these images, when I hit export 20 images, these images will export with the name of each image in the bottom right corner. And since the name I've selected is numerical, the images will go 001, 002, 003, and so on. And I can post these online into any online posting place. And every time they look at their image, they will see the name of the image right there on the file. And so then they can just email back to you and say, I want 003. And then you grab the raw file for 003. You export it again. And then you retouch it and send it to them. And in my case, there would be more work to do. Because when I, when I, when I export my files to send them to a client for selection, I don't do much raw. I don't do much to them. Because this is just for them to pick the one they like. And then, once it comes back, I take the original raw file and I go in, I adjust my levels, I do all the things that I do to a raw file, and that's another video that's coming. So, that's it. It's really not difficult at all. The thing about this little hack is it's one of those great hacks, and I'm sure you've done this too, where like you're doing something that you do all the time, and you come to a point in, in it where you go, you know, there's got to be an easier way to do this. But... I want to finish this project, so I will just circle back to this at some later date and see if I can figure out an easier way to do it. And then literally years later, <laughs> you finally circle back and fix it. Like when I figured this out, I was just like, oh my God, how many emails have I sent to people where I've been like, okay, you need to send me the name of the file, but you're going to have to be sure you click the thumbnail. And, blah, blah. and I could have solved all that with this very simple hack in Capture One. So if you are putting your images online and you need to have them numbered or named so people can easily select them, this will solve the problem for you. All right, be sure and throw me a like and throw me a subscribe and keep watching because there's more to come.